Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Project High Rise. And I was just about to build an expanded maintenance facility for this building, as the building's starting to get rather large, and we're having a lot of things that I have to concern myself with. Now, utilities-wise, how are we doing here? We've got cable, water. Okay, so first thing, we need water across. Now, I did discover that I only really need to bring the water like that so that it's actually touching the lot. But I'm just going to continue with the inefficient way that I've been doing things. If you really worry about things like that, maybe this isn't the series for you. But I have confirmed that the most efficient way is just barely draw the line in there and then it counts. But... So I don't have to worry about things for the future. I'm just going to go ahead and do things the inefficient way I have been doing them. Okay, so two-bedroom apartment, two-bedroom apartment. And I do have to consider, a, you know, what I've got here for trash services and recycling. Maybe starting to get a little overwhelmed. Although at the moment, I don't really see too much of a problem. Maybe trash is what I really need to expand here. So trash is how big? Well, first, let's go ahead and get the uh, building staff bigger maintenance crew. Oh, I did five. It should be six. Okay, that's not a big deal. There we go. Um, so let's see. Trash. Ability to pick up trash is five in size. Okay. So... I may put that over here somewhere. I may put it over here. I mean, this puts it a far way away from the elevator, which makes people have to work walk far farther, but it is what it is. But uh, I think it was five in size, so I'm just going to go ahead and build that. One, two, three, four, five. And that'll give me four more trash facilities, so once they've built that. So first we're going to have building staff and the maintenance office there, and then we're going to have uh, trash and the trash pickup there. All right, so that should be good for now. Uh, other things that I'm aware that I'm going to eventually need are phone services, but I've got a nice spot here for it if I need it. Because we're right now at 4450, but with these apartments, we haven't needed it, so we're good in that regard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and build up another floor here, as I don't see a reason why not to do that. And we'll just go ahead and across here. I'm going to be nice and careful so that I don't accidentally build up too far. All right. And I don't see a reason why not to install the elevators and the utility stuff while we're at it because we can do that before the building the floor is finished. All right. Then I'm probably going to save up my money because I'm getting buzz up there so that I can do its uh, steel, which uh, reduces building costs by 50%. So we can build up a couple floors here. And anyway, this is all I need for the next level of apartment. So let's go ahead and get our trash service in here. So first we've got recycling, and then we've got trash, and then we need utilities. But first I'll just go ahead and put in the apartments. The one bedroom apartment here and then just go ahead and do that we're going to need the utilities we're going to need electricity cable television and i'm just going to focus on this one bedroom apartment for now and water okay Okay, a bit more cash. Looking good. And we just finished one of our contracts, which was the one-bedroom apartment. So that's a fair amount of cash. Let's go ahead and take a look at our contracts. So right now I'm doing people management. I could do more residents, although I'd have to check where we are on that. Uh, fit for families. So we have Families First. That's the new slogan being kicked around at the Department of Housing. Okay. City would like 22 bedroom units if you can. So it doesn't specify what size they are. 
I'm going to take this because it's something I've already been doing, but it doesn't specify whether it needs to be the small or the large, and I wonder if we have to have both. We have to have both, and we probably already have enough of the small two-bedroom apartments, but I'm going to sign this contract anyway because it's something we've been working towards. Yeah, we've got 14 of 20, and it doesn't care what size they are, so smaller ones will do it. And I'm perfectly happy happy to continue with the small ones. And how are our other services doing? So we've got water, perfectly fine. Electricity seems okay. Uh, cable television is maybe okay. So we have room for what we've got. So I already have the space built up for um, two of the two bedroom apartments here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we've got one and two and one and two and then i need the utilities so i already wired electricity and cable to the one but i'm going to need it over to the other as well and then we're going to need water to both all right good to go And I was going to look at my distribution of people. So we've got 66 people living in apartments, and that one contract was for 100 people. Now, it's possible by doing these two contracts, I'll get what we need for that. But I still think that's a pretty far away as a way, as you can see with the two-bedroom apartment here. Sometimes you only have two people. Sometimes, sometimes you get more than that. Sometimes you get uh, three like we have there, but it's not going to be a whole lot more than that. So for every one of these apartments, I'm getting two or three people. And it's still probably going to take a while. All right, now I have a lot of cash built up and I could continue to save it for the It's a Steal and build like five, six or more floors at a time. But now I have to have kind of a game plan here. So if I continue to build up, I really don't need this bit here because these are one bedroom apartments and I could use them for something else. Let's just take a look at some things that we can put in here. So medium offices will not fit in that space. Yeah, they won't. I mean, technically they would if I move the recycling over and I'm, well, the water utility would have to move as well. Uh... We could do large offices, but there's no call for that. I mean, honestly, I have no call for any of the things that uh, I could build. I could build more restaurants. Um, as a matter of fact, we can do large restaurants now. I do have to consider the fact that these generate noise and smells, something that my apartments do not like, as well as my offices. My offices don't like that either. But we could stick those in here. And we've already got the trash facilities and all that uh, there and ready to go. So that's not a bad plan. I mean, obviously, we'd lose the elevator here. But that's something we're probably going to need anyway, I would say. So I don't see a reason why not to build this. So I'm just going to go ahead and build this across. My workers should already have room to do that okay so i just got a bunch more cash we're still working on the, the budget here or saving money a little bit and i could also take a huge loan at the same time now i have to keep in mind there's only so much construction though that can happen unless i plan for the future so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to build the staircase but that's all i'm going to build so I'm just going to build this bit here, and we're going to go up and up from that. And that's going to kind of prepare so that we can build multiple floors at once here. So I'm just going to have this little bit of infrastructure put in for the future. And that way I can just go across and keep doing that. Now again, I don't really need anything past here at the moment. Unless I just want to have that second elevator access. 
which might be a good idea because having everything dependent upon the central elevator is kind of a problem. All right. Well, anyway, we're just going to continue with this until we get the 1250 that we need to get that 50% discount. All right. Do I uh, open the restaurant? I could also do stores, which is eventually going to be something I need to do. But of course, if I do that, I'm going to need a storage facility because I already have this storage facility full. So I'll, I'd have to think about that. But I'm going to need restaurants and stores eventually. So that's something I have to keep in mind. Now, I don't have any medium restaurants. And I'm probably going to have to uh, quest to do that at some point. I could put the medium restaurants in here. Yeah, that's not maybe a bad call. But I am going to go ahead and do the large restaurant here. Just because I want to see what do they want. So we'll put that in. Oop. I'm hoping there's a way to cancel one of these. If need be. But alright. So we've got a whole bunch of choices here. Let's see. Sports bar. What do they want? All right. I'm going to pause while I think here. So what do they want? They want electricity. They want cable. They want water. They want gas. We've got all of those things. They like high traffic areas. Not really that high traffic. Anything up this high is going to be a little bit on the low side for that. And they like being close to elevators. They won't be close to an elevator. So those are two things that will be kind of strikes. They do need trash pickup. We have that on the floor. So that's them. They'll give me 580 a day for both. Either one of them will do that. So we've got either, and they do serve, let's see what they've got. They serve dinner and they have a bar. So bar is something new. All right, so Italian restaurant. They serve dinner and have a bar and they'll give me 590 a day. And as far as I can tell, they actually need less services. So they don't need cable television, yes? Otherwise, mostly the same. It does cost me more. No, it costs me the same to implement. So 590 a day or 600 a day. I don't really see the difference here either. Probably a difference in prestige. No, same. Okay. Mexican restaurant. Mexican restaurant has a bar and they serve dinner. So again, no real difference here. So far, the Italian restaurant seems to be the better deal just out of cost and the fact of how many services I have to give them. Sports bar requires more. Why do it? And then we've got Brunch Spots. Brunch Spots does breakfast and lunch. That's not really giving us a new service, though, like some of these others do. But one thing that we I see here is they don't expect a high traffic area or close to elevators. What did the Mexican restaurant say? They want high traffic and close to elevators. Okay. And then we have Family Restaurant. They also don't expect much. 590 a day and they have the three services and they serve lunch and dinner well again i think i'm going to have to go to the italian restaurant here it gives me the most a day and it gives me a bar which i am thinking i probably need at some point there's probably going to be offices there's probably going to be uh apartments that are looking for that so i'm going to go ahead and go with the uh italian restaurant here uh asteria calabria i don't speak italian so i apologize for butchering the crap out of that and we'll put that in. And they need electricity, water, and gas. So let's get our utilities going. So electricity, we just need to draw over here. Water, we don't have any over there. We got to bring that over. And then gas, we also need. Which makes sense. They need to be able to cook the food. Ooh. There we go. Okay. So that should be good. And I could also afford art now if I wanted to do like a little area down here. I don't really actually need the prestige right now. So I don't really see reason to do that. Well, let's go ahead and see how this Italian restaurant works for us. And also let's take a look at renovations here. We can afford it, so why not? All right, there's our Italian restaurant. I'm going to have to keep an eye on how happy they are with us, what they've got. All right now, they're happy, but they're always going to be a little bit upset probably because of the uh, high traffic area, but maybe they will be high at traffic. Another thing I'm going to have to worry about, though, is the noise and smells that they produce. 
kind of going to be smelly and it's going to be noisy and that's going to piss off some of the offices. I see this office in particular being a little bit maybe not so happy with the situation, but right now they're okay. These apartments are probably going to be a little bit on the unhappy side, but so far nothing really serious, I would say, for the most part. And then I could probably continue with the uh, restaurants over here. So as I have been doing, I'm just going to continue with the floor building up here. And I can do stuff with influence here. So I can't do zoning changes. And that's because I do not have a public plaza area, at least five tiles. Oh, okay. So that's the importance of the plaza. That's why you do it. That's why you spend the money. Gotcha. And then public art just needs zoning changes. Okay, so I could set up a plaza at some point. It's not something I'm probably going to prioritize, but that's good to know. Um, I'm either going to go with medium artwork or I'm going to go with Exclusive elevators is probably going to start being a, a, an issue. The exclusive elevators eventually. It hasn't yet been an issue, but maybe eventually it will be. And I'd hate to be uh, limited by that in the future. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and do the medium artworks. And then we'll build the staircase there and continue to build up. And once I have the 1250 that I need, we can start building some of these floors. But it, the biggest problem is just getting the infrastructure set up and allowing these guys to come in to do this floor construction. It's kind of hysterical watching these guys go up and up and up and up the stairs. I'm sure they're having fun doing that. And maybe one more. That should be good, I think. To allowing me to get in there. And we're almost at 1250 anyway, so. We're eventually going to be able to do this stuff. I've got my construction offices upgraded, so we have plenty of staff to work on this stuff. And it's just a matter of getting the influence. And at the moment, got good revenue coming in. I can always take a loan if I need one. Right now, we still have time on this one, but I can take up to 20 grand here and uh, loans to allow me to build a whole bunch of crap if I needed it. Now, I do have to think about upgrading the phones and things like that, but right now, not needed. Uh, Italian restaurant didn't need phones. That sounds kind of weird that an Italian restaurant wouldn't need a phone because, you know, people have to call for res reservations and things like that. But for the meantime, they're fine. Our trash seems to be doing okay. Recycling, how are you? Probably getting a little bit on the full side. Probably time that I upgraded that. So take a look at the trash facilities here. I'm going to assume recycling is about the same size. Yeah, so it's five. So we're going to go ahead and build that on up. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll go ahead and put in the recycling pickup there. Okay. Almost to 1250 so I can get that discount going. And that's going to give me a discount on a whole bunch of things that are important for building floors. First, the, the floor tiles themselves are going to be a heck of a lot cheaper. And we're getting some decent visitors here. I'm almost to the 250 population. And we're four away from the two-bedroom apartments. So that's going to require only two floors, honestly. Okay, we're at 1250, so it's time. So, it's a steal. This gives me a 50% construction cost 
for new floor tiles, elevator stairwells, and utility closets. All of those things that I build when I build a new floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, it's a steel, and then we're gonna build a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that, all of that, all of this, All of this. This is really going to take us higher. Alright, we just knocked out... How many floors out of... All on a discount? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven floors. And then I'll go ahead and do... This and this, or restaurants possibly. And then I might as well do the elevators because I've got a discount on those. Elevator, 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 elevator. And then go ahead and let time progress here as we do the utility closets as well. Which we also have discounts on. And then water. Now the question is, can my work crew actually finish this before the bonus runs out? And let's go ahead and take a look at my maintenance crew and get them doing more renovations. Because we've got plenty of money saved up. And I can set up apartments and things while these guys are doing the construction work. But right now, it looks like they're emphasizing the elevators. And I always can build up some of these as well. But I think these two are for sure going to probably be restaurants. And then we could put restaurants over here as well. Medium restaurants. All right. Got a little bit more cash. All right, so I can put in an apartment, a couple apartments here, and then that will... As a matter of fact, we've got both the floors we need here. So let's go ahead and get the trash services we know we're going to need for the two floors here. Here, recycling, here, and here, and then the two bedroom apartments. Curiosity, yeah, that won't fit. And I'm on offices anyway. Yeah, these are huge. All right, two bedroom apartments. So we've got one, two, three, and four. Okay. And now that we have that set up, I can go ahead and get their utilities. Well, actually, go ahead and do this first. And then do their utilities. So they need electricity. And electricity. And cable television. And then finally, water. Okay, well that should take care of the contract as soon as those are built. Of course, the big thing is getting them built. They do have a construction team working on a lot of stuff. All right, there's one contract done. So let's take a look at our other contracts. We've got large offices. 
more commuters, more residents. I'm going to have to take a look at the list again. Loft life. All right, so loft living. Okay, so we need... Can you help realize this dream with new loft apartments? All right. I don't know how big loft apartments are. We've got posh pads needing uh, luxury apartments. You know, I didn't really check um, if that's something I could have done. I don't think so, but maybe I could have. And then we've got the Galleria, which is more shopping, which is probably the main reason I couldn't. So what do we have here? Restaurant revolution. You can provide space for large restaurants in your building. All right, we're already doing that. How many? I'm going to take this contract, but it's not really clear. And this is, again, this is feedback needed to the person playing the game. How many restaurants do you need? Because I can't even evaluate if this is something I can do or not. It's something I'm working on, but it's only, is it only three restaurants? Is it five? Is it six? Is it eight? Is it ten? Because then it starts to get into a realm where I feel like it's less and less realistic of a contract. But I'm going to take it anyway. I mean, it's worth a lot of money. Maybe it is pretty ridiculous. But so far, it looks like it's about the same as the other uh, restaurant. So, okay. So I guess I just build up more large restaurants and uh, looks like I might be able to get away with four restaurants to serve uh, dinner and bar. So dinner, bar, lunch is what we care about. We don't care about breakfast necessarily, but okay. Well, I think we can do that, and then we're going to have 250 people. Now, I did want to take a look at the people. So we've got 72 in apartments, and we could make that more. All right. Well, let's take a look at apartments. I can't do lofts yet, can I? What is a loft? That's all the way over here. I need 15 prestige for that. Okay. Well, that might be where uh, having artwork uh, might come in. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to get another bit of prestige here soon, but we'll just continue. And I do have bigger stores now. Ooh, cool. There are two floors now. Maybe uh, the loft apartments will be something like that as well. Well, that actually uh, helps quite a bit because it keeps things compact. I almost kind of wish I had that before. But, like, for instance, I could put this here and then put elevators in between or something like that. That's pretty cool. I would say money right now is not really a big concern. It's pretty much coming in at a pretty good rate. So I could think about doing that plaza needs to be what five so that would be under artwork and it would be under plaza it needs to be at least five in size so if i did that it would be three in size how big is this this is three in size that's two in size. So I could just do one of those. Of course, I need the actual lobby space kind of figured out. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and build my lobby. So I need five space not being used. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the rest can be my lobby. So one, two, three, four, five, including that space. So this will be lobby. Okay, plenty of in intake of cash here. And then the rest will be plaza. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab plaza. I'm gonna do that and that. Got a nice Oh, I kind of don't like the space I've got going there. But uh, it's a little late now. Oh, it would have been cooler to have the... 
You know, I know this wastes money, but I'm going to go ahead and evict that. I think I'm going to go with this tree instead. Can't quite do that size tree. It's too big. Smaller tree is kind of cool. Or we could do one something like that. Yeah, we'll do the tree. That, that looks pretty cool. And that's five in size, which should allow me to do zoning changes, which makes it so I can have more total tiles of building. So we'll go ahead and unlock that. And then let's take a look at the extent of my building. So what I where I can build, because I think that has changed. So down here, we can only build 10 down, which isn't that big of a deal. But up here, I should have expanded things through the influence. So let's see how high up we can go now. All the way up to the 79th, or technically 80th floor. All right, well, this is a good point to uh, put a cut in the video. Oh, I didn't accidentally put down something, did I? Shouldn't have been able to. Yeah, okay. Here's the sound effect. Kind of threw me off a little bit there. In case, I think I'm going to put a Gonna put a, a cut in the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.